Top, it's Defunct Photo. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. As you can hear, there's an echo to my voice because we are in the domes uh, in Casa Grande, Arizona. And today I wanna to demo this Osmo. And I have the Osmo pretty much fully tricked out with the Z-axis attachment, which gives you that up and down stabilization. I have a Rode uh, Video Micro attached. I have all the attachments um, where you can add everything. Now, typically your phone goes here so you can see the live view of the camera feed, but I left my phone in the car so you don't really have to have it to use it. So right now you can see that when you're holding the Osmo, this kind of goes up and down and it looks like if you walk, it's going to ruin your footage, but I'll show you the footage from this and it's unbelievably smooth. You don't see any of that motion, but what I'm going to do is we're going to get out of this dangerous part and Brandon's filming me with a GoPro and uh, an Evo gimbal, which is a lot more compact and has better audio capabilities because the audio of the Osmo is its biggest weak point. Even though I have this external mic, the audio quality is very low, it's not very dynamic, and there's little noises it picks up from the uh, camera up here. So if you want one of these and audio is a top concern, you better think twice because even if you put a high-end mic on the Osmo, your audio is still going to be less than ideal. So a lot of people are using this just for kind of B-roll or shots where you have music over it. On the other hand, uh, the Evo gimbal that Brandon's holding, um, I'm just using the GoPro, the built-in mic of the GoPro, and it sounds way better than using this mic right here. So um, we're just gonna do a little stabilization test. And Brandon's gonna follow me over here as I run so you see what this looks like while it's recording. It's kind of a dangerous place. I don't recommend. I don't really recommend coming here because, as you can see, there's holes in the ceiling and they cave in. Um, and imagine if we're standing there and this just caved in and be dead. So we're going to keep it quick in here. And Brandon's going to follow me as I run. I'll try to keep to the side of me, but make sure you don't trip. Okay, so I'm going to run this way. We have the z-axis. Put it a little bit lower than level. There we go. So now, do this. So now we're going to start running. And I'm going to aim the camera forward. And here we go. So you'll see how smooth the video footage remains. And there's mine. So. <laughs> What's really cool is with the Z-axis, without the Z-axis, if you want that smooth up and down, you have to do this funny walk with it. Um, so with the Z-axis, that takes, you don't have to think about the way you walk. So at the end of the day, I've been using this Osmo for about three weeks. And while it has some cool features, like the ability to have live view of your footage, um, all the attachments are extra. So you have to buy these attachments to hook up a microphone. You have to buy the extension arm to be able to still add your phone, and this is an added expense as well. So at the end of the day, an Osmo setup like this is going to cost you about close to a thousand bucks or 800, 900 bucks for this, whereas something like Brandon's holding, as you can see right here, it's an Evo gimbal, evogimbals.com. It works just as well, in my opinion, but gives you better audio. It's much smaller and probably comes in at half the price. So I would still recommend the Evo gimbal, but if you're someone who likes the features of the Osmo, the all-in-one battery, you don't have to charge two batteries like you do with the Evo. You have your joystick control, which is very easy to control the camera and the gimbal. You have your um, record button right there and the trigger. 
If you press the trigger three times, it'll go into selfie mode, so you can, you know, do vlogging. So I can be, in, I can walk around here vlogging in the domes. But the reason I don't love this solution is because the audio is not very good. So while I like the features, and also we'll do um, panoramic photos automatically. If I had my phone on, I could show you. But you basically set it to pano mode, you press a button, and it automatically takes your pano, and since it's stabilized, it stitches it together perfectly and automatically sends it to your phone. So there's some great features with the Osmo. I still feel they should come out with an Osmo 2, which has a built-in, I would have built-in professional mics, um, and a built-in display for the camera so you don't have to put your phone because the truth is when you add your phone, you have to hook it up to Wi-Fi, it takes a few minutes, and then you have to set all your settings. So it's kind of a pain to start to use the Osmo um, if you want to use the display. So there it is, the DJI, DJI Osmo, and you saw that the motion and the video footage is very, very good, very smooth. Even while watching this go up and down, your video footage is silky smooth. So I just wanted to show you guys the Osmo here in the dome. So I'll walk around a little bit and just get some footage so you can see the video quality. I'll add some music um, to show you how cinematic it really can be.